I've got some figures here and I'd like to create a pie chart. Before I do, did you know that Florence Nightingale was key in the development of the pie chart? So there you go, multi-talented. But anyway, to create a pie chart, I've got some figures here. I want one series of them, so I want this information here and whichever month I happen to be interested in. I can only take one month at a time. If it was the January figures, I could just simply highlight it like that. If it was the February figures, which I will do, I would highlight these, hold down the control key, and then highlight the next set of figures that I want. So if they're not next to each other, just remember to hold down the control key, and then you can highlight non-adjacent cells. And then on the toolbar, you'll see that there's a button here for the chart wizard, or I could go into insert and chart. Either one of them does the same thing. For this, I'm just going to go insert charts, but I could have clicked on that button too. So I'm just going to click on chart there and up pops the chart wizard. And this is step one of four. And the first thing I need to do is choose which chart type I want. And you'll see there's a few down here and I'm going to go straight for the pie charts. And then you'll see it's got a subtype here. That's a normal 2D one. And you can see down the bottom here, it just says Pi displays a contribution of each value to a total. I can press and hold that to get a look at what it will look like with our figures. Just gives me a rough idea. You could choose a 3D one. There's another one here, which is a pie of a pie. So it's got another set of values extracted from a pie piece. This is what they call an exploded pie, where the pie pieces are all exploded out. And again, that's in 2D. There's a 3D version. And there's also like a bar representation of the pie piece here as well. So if it's got some sub data in there as well. I'm just going to choose this normal 2D one over here. And then I am just going to click on next, which will take me to part two. And here you can see it's selected the data range. This is the range here, which I could change. I could click on this option here and then reselect what I want. I can see whether it was rows or columns. I happen to know it's in columns because it's going down like that. But just to see what would happen, if I click on rows, you see it doesn't look right. So I'm just going to go back to columns there. There is a tab across the top here that's looking at the data range. I'm looking at, can look at series and see which ones I've got in there. You can only have one set of series in here anyway for the pie chart. So we can just leave that alone. And I am just going to now click on next. And this is taking me to step three or four of the chart options. In other charts, you can fill more things in here, but I'm going to put in chart title. I'm going to put in sales for quarter one. And you'll see it pops up there showing it to me as well. I can choose to have a legend. I've got tabs across the top, so I can choose legend. I can say this is your legend here. I can remove it, I can put it back in, and I can also tell it where I want it to go. And you can see it changing there. I'm going to stick with keeping it on the right. Something else I can do at this stage is data labels. These are the labels that go around each pie piece. So if I want to, I can tick on that and it will show me the name of the series going around the outside. I could click on category name. You can see you can choose more than one and you can untick and tick as many as you like. So category name could be useful, but then I wouldn't need the legend here because it's showing me that same information as here. I could see the value. Each one of them is separated by a comma. You can just see them there, but you could choose a space. You could choose a semicolon. You can see them changing. I'm going to go back to a comma. Or you can put it on a new line actually. So back to commas. You can have the percentages, it'll work those out for you. I'm going to remove the category name. But you can see you can have any combinations you like here. The percentage could be quite useful. So I'm actually going to just keep that in there. I'm going to click on next. It takes me to the last part. Do I want it on a new sheet, which will give me a whole new sheet and it will insert a new sheet into Excel. Or I can put it as an object in. I happen to be on sheet one now, but I could tell it what sheet I want it to go to. And if I'd named the sheet, it would show me the name of that sheet. I'm going to stick with it and put it onto this one here, sheet one. I'm just going to click on finish. 
and here is my pie charts okay and you can see all the information there I'm just going to move this down with any of these charts if I change any of these values so if I change that to say 45 when I press enter you'll notice down here in the chart it will instantly change which is a lovely thing about charts in Excel how they automatically adapt but now I just want to have a look at this chart on its own and what we can do with that so here is my chart I also have a chart toolbar which I'm just going to move over to here so this may normally be floating around like this which I might just put it down here for the moment and I want to be able to see both that and the chart so there we go and what I'm going to do is just make a few changes so the first thing I want to do is just click in here I could now do things like click on this sales for quarter one if I click in it again I could actually change that to say quarter one like that so you can amend that title there right click and choose format chart area you'll see that I could if I wanted to change the color of the chart area okay probably doesn't look so great but I'm just going to leave it there so everything is more or less a right click so other things you could do I could click on my pie chart here and you'll see it puts a little square which are known as handles around each one if I click on it again and so it's not a double click I clicked on it and then clicked deliberately again and you'll see it's now selected that pie piece I can right click format data point it thinks it's a data point that whole pie piece and I could choose a different color so I'm going to choose red for this one I'm then going to choose OK and you'll see it's changed it and I could go around and change each one so it's not just the color that I can change I could change the pattern so there's a border I can change the style of the border around it I can change the weight of it I can change also the fill effects so that is I could give it some sort of gradient if I want to so I can give it two colors and so on you can mess around here and try these out but at least you know now where these are and then if I click on OK you'll see what that has done there to that pie chart and I could go around and do it for each one of these so OK one of the other things I can do I can again I've clicked off of the pie chart because I'm going to reselect so I'm going to click on it and you might remember when we did the chart wizards there was an option to have an exploded pie chart with those selected like this and it's got these handles here I can click in any one of these and when I drag it out I can now explode that chart I can then put it back in as far as I can go I can go too far if I want and it puts it all back together but you could also do just one at a time so I could just click on one and click and drag each of those out I can just simply pull them all back in like this so it's also a very neat way of being able to highlight things on your pie chart as well here are the data labels again I can right click format data labels I can change the fonts the number and so on you can even see that they've got alignment and number there too so again I can just right click I can choose various things like chart options I can change my data labels I could now edit in the values and the category name as well I can delete my legend so I can just highlight it by clicking on it pressing delete if I want it back right click chart options and again legend and tick on it and where I want it to go I can simply move it around wherever I like so I can actually change you may have noticed that when I right click it does actually have chart type so I could change the chart type so again right click up comes the chart type dialog box very similar to the first step that we had when we actually chose the chart wizard and I could change this now to a 3d chart so I just simply click on it I can now click on OK and there you go I now have a 3d chart which gives me slightly different options because if I now right click you'll see there's a 3d view option and I can do things like spin it around I can change the elevation so I can actually tilt it 
I can change the thickness of it as well. So if I want it to be 50% of this height here, if I now click on apply, you're kind of going to see it in the background. It's going to change. Okay, so maybe I want it a bit more like that. And you can type in these values for the elevation and rotation, and you see that's completely changed. The other way to change it to a different chart type is also to click here, is to click here on the toolbar, and I can go 2D, I can go back to 3D, okay, and it remembers the settings that I've got for each one of those. So that is simply how to create and just alter pie charts.